because that's it's not so rotational. Okay. It's, right, right. it's not rotational <laughs> velocity. This motion is not working. This, this isn't <laughs> working. This is working. So <laughs> z-axis, z-axis movement works? Or is no, it just no, no, like no. It's no. rotating so inside one of Along the z-axis, which means like this way, right? So z-axis is right. So Excuse me, just taking the footage. Yeah, sure. Yeah. What's the sound right now? Oh, so we, since it's like neuroscience and art, we're using uh, an EEG data, and then just play it with filters, so then he's controlling like, the like, wobble and shit on it. All you like frequency shift. I'm sure you know like, what to do to make it look cool. Here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It can reach probably as far as an each made it. The pivot, yeah, and you can always walk around. <laughs> yeah, Mike, pivot. <laughs> make it pivot. Yeah, that that's the one we that's the one we didn't do, and apparently that's our favorite actual split. <laughs> we didn't do this at in what we can do like so. And that's actually really not that difficult because we already had the z velocity. Why are you using the gloves? Sure. That's all I want to know. The gloves? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that'd be so cool with gloves. Or do we know thing. like dubstep gloves? Just dubstep gloves. <laughs> <laughs> You, you should put like laser sensors here, so then like when you just go like this, this closer. sensors like distance. You don't even like, need laser like, sensors, like, dude. Like, just like magnets of some kind. Okay. Sure, you wouldn't even need lasers, just magnets. Yeah, that's true. Can't need magnetic field. Or a magnet and a loop on the other one. And a coil on the other one, yeah. Magnets? Yeah. Try, try oh, this. Really? 